what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I hope you're having a great day. It is Labor Day, so happy Labor Day to all of you. I hope to have this out to you tonight. So, um, we just got back from vacation. Yesterday we went to church back in the saddle, but today is still kind of that weird day. The family's out of work. They're not working today. Um, Isaac doesn't start his new job until tomorrow. So I'm doing a family breakfast. So I normally get the griddle out or my frying pan out and fry sausage. I just like to, not sausage, bacon. I just like to fry. I'm just a, you know, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. But today, I, I kind of wanted to keep my kitchen fairly grease free. And so I'm actually going to do my bacon in the oven. I do like it in the oven, but there's just something I enjoy about frying. I'm really one of those who enjoys frying things. I love to fry. But um, today, not so much. I'm going to do it in the oven. So I'm just, I've got my cookie sheets out. I've lined them with parchment paper. You can wrap them in tin foil. I think I'm about out of tin foil, so that's why I'm using parchment. I've got my oven set on 400. And once I get everything laid out, I'll stick these in the oven and we will, uh, I'm going to see if I can tighten it up a little bit and get a couple more pieces on here. Um, but we're going to do our bacon in the oven. All we're having today is bacon, grits, and toast, and scrambled eggs and applesauce. Um, that's it. We're taking it pretty simple, but we're just coming together as a family. So, okay, I'll bring you back when these come out of the oven. Okay, y'all, I'm cracking the eggs. Uh, we're just gonna scramble eggs. Like I said, we're keeping this breakfast pretty simple. Um, and let me explain to you, we're having grits. That's a southern thing around here is grits. And let me explain, you can make them like stone ground grits, cook them in milk, you can cook them in water. It's delicious. But my family prefers instant grits over, um, you know, cooked on the stove grits. So I have a pot of water getting hot, and I'm going to open up packets of instant grits. We all, I, I, if I, we don't even order grits usually in a restaurant because usually they're cooked and they're not instant and we prefer <laughs> instant. I know that's weird, but it is what it is. So anyway, I'm gonna finish cracking the eggs. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. You can add a little bit of water or a little bit of milk to make them fluffy. I prefer water. I think sometimes the milk can make it a tad bit rubbery, but um, you can add either one just to give it some, some fluff. And um, I'm just gonna keep cracking eggs and I'll see you back in just a minute. All right, I've got my eggs all beaten up along with some salt, pepper, and that little splash of water I was telling you about. Here I've opened up the Quaker Instant Grits butter flavored, so there's actually little pieces of dehydrated butter in here, and I've added a few chunks of butter of my own. The water is boiling, it's ready. I'm just waiting on the bacon and a little closer to time to scramble the eggs and I'm going to go ahead and start making toast. When we have grits and bacon, we like to have toast with it. So I'm going to start um, getting the toast in the toaster. All right, everybody, they're out and I'm just going to drain them on some paper towels. Look how flat and pretty they are. 
had one get a little dark. That's okay. <laughs> but look, those are absolutely beautiful. All right. So I'm going to get the other pan out and we'll be ready to eat. All right, a little added tip. Even when you bake it in the oven, there is gonna be some extra grease. That is great seasoning and flavoring for something. So just pour it into a big mug, but be very careful so you don't burn yourself because that is really, really hot, hot grease. But we are saving some good stuff right there um, that can season your green beans, it can season your pintos, it can season anything. That is liquid gold in my opinion. So. Uh, be sure to save that. All right, guys, I'm on bread duty because I have to stand right here with it because I have a finicky toaster. <laughs> finicky toaster. So tell them what we got here, Mom. We have toast. Golden brown. Bacon. Grits. Buttery grits. And eggs. All right. And the jelly, is, is we have strawberry jelly and grape jelly, and it's in, at the table. The crew is here. Everybody's ready to what? We're ready to eat. Ready to eat. Well, we had a wonderful, wonderful breakfast. I have started cleaning up. Um, actually, I have pretty much cleaned up. I have a plate of bacon still out. Um, we didn't eat all the bacon, but ate just about everything else. Well, we did eat everything else. It was delicious, and it was good having the family because, like, after being together in one house, for a week with everybody and then go to it just being me and Brian. <laughs> I was kind of missing everybody. So it was good to have everybody back here, even if it was just for breakfast. Well, once I started cleaning up, I decided, you know, I kind of want to decorate a little bit. There's this new, I don't know if it's a new trend, but it's new to me. It may have been around and I just haven't noticed it. But um, there's this new fall thing going around of, of incorporating some blues like some velvet blues some bright blue some deep denim type blues into the fall decorations and like I said it may not be new it's just new to me well I picked up a few things before we went on vacation just some of those floral picks and um, a couple of pumpkins somebody sent me this galvanized tractor like thing and I love it and so I wanted to incorporate that so I've, I'm playing around with my dining room table and you tell me what you think I had some denim placemats I had my pumpkin runner from last year so tell me what you think here is my I have this food tray that I carry food places on um, I put some blue and white pumpkins. I got some, the blue pumpkins and just the orange balls, some sunflowers, some natural looking pumpkin, another sunflower, denim placemats, and my pumpkin runner. So, I can't decide if I like it or not. So, um, I mean, I really like the centerpiece. I really like that. And I wanna incorporate the denim the denim placemat. So, um, what kind of napkins would you get? Would you get orange bandana napkins? Would you get, um, tell me, what's your thoughts? I really like this. This is going to stay. I like that. Um, and I just need to know what to put on the placemat. Should I get some orange plates? What do you think? I don't know I kind of like it okay so after the kids left I began to decorate the dining room which you've seen a little bit of but I've done a little bit more and I'll show you that and I'll show you the living room um, not much on this video per se just our breakfast and a little bit of decorating I decorated much like I did last year. Everything is pretty much identical to last year, uh, except with just some small changes. So let's start in the dining room and we'll make our way around to the kitchen. Okay, everyone, there is the blue counter. I didn't really do anything to it except straighten it up, basically. And there's the buffet. 
and the table. And what I did was I just added a beige to bring in some more beige, a, a beige round placemat on top of the square denim placemat. It kind of serves like a charger would. Um, I've added some, turn the lights on, uh, salt and pepper shakers, some chickens, some more pumpkins. We'll make our way around. Sorry, Bryant's in the kitchen. All right, let's go towards the living room. This is pretty much as it was last year. My give thanks with a grateful heart, along with my buffalo plaid pumpkin, which I'm just kind of bringing the buffalo plaid in, in little small areas with the pillows. Got my little turkey out there. A lot of the things I used are from my house. And what I mean by that is that they were they were here. They were already here. I did a video last year about how to shop your house and save money by decorating and just finding things you can use. I will link. It was a part one and part two video. I will link those down below. And let me tell you, if you go back and watch those videos, <laughs> y'all are going to laugh at the like at how much weight I've lost since then. I went back and watched it today and was blown away. So here's some more buffalo plaid right here. We'll go around to my large sofa. Now what will drive me crazy with this is Bryant sits on the couch and he throws the pillows off. <laughs> my other little turkey. My yellow buffalo plaid that says family. And over here, just some cheap little picks in that. Another buffalo plaid pumpkin with the sign that says faithful. All right, let's head to the kitchen. Okay, here we are in the kitchen and I'm just panning around. It is rainy here today and so it's dark. So that's why everything's dark. I'll turn the lights on in just a minute so you can see, but I wanted you to see how pretty it was. Uh, I want a different sign to go here. Um, that's the same one I used last year, but I'd like to elevate, I have a little more elevated sign. Um, I like what that one says though. And then we come over here and I love my like driftwood turkeys. I have two of those there. All right. Overlook my dishes in the sink. Come over here. And there's a bowl of pumpkins with the LMB Farm sign. Okay, guys, and here on my island, I have just a fall plate with a galvanized pumpkin with the leaves from Bath and Body Works candles and salt and pepper shakers in the shape of gourds. So that's it. That's all I have done so far. A little bit in the bathroom, but not much. Okay, everybody, that's it. I hope you enjoyed um, cooking breakfast with us this morning and then decorating. Um, I enjoyed that. Be sure to go look at those videos um, for nothing else to see how much weight I've lost. <laughs> but go check them out because I give you money-saving tips on how to find things in your home Look for things you can use and then just buy inexpensive things. I didn't add hardly anything this year. I had the denim placemats. The only thing I added 
was um, those picks with the blue pumpkins and the orange balls and um, one pumpkin. I think that's about all I added this year. So, oh, some of the blue pumpkins. I did get those. Um, but yeah, that's it. And I feel like my house is decorated in a way that it's simple, it's cozy, it's comfortable, and it screams fall to me. So, all right, go check them out. Thank you for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.